Okay, today we're gonna make a butterfly pendant, and for that, let me sh give you a rundown of what it is that we need. First of all, we need some sort of butterfly wing imagery. Uh, we want some heavyweight cardstock that we're gonna use this for our backside, and so something that's pretty, but nice and heavyweight cardstock. We want some sort of imagery to go inside of our book plate that we're using. We're using these little mini ovals, and so I might take a vintage face, Something like that would work just great. We're using um, book plates. You can use rectangular shaped ones. I'm using these sweet little oval ones and we're gonna use two of them because we're gonna use them back to back. We're gonna need something to pierce a hole with. We're going to need some sort of adhesive. I'm using glossy accents today. Um, we're gonna need two jump rings. Um, we're going to dangle, because these book plates have a hole at the top and at the bottom, we're going to dangle a bead from the bottom, so we're going to take some sort of bead and a head pin and some basic jewelry tools um, and a pencil. And we may or may not use this glue stick, I may just use glossy accents for everything. And then your necklace, of course. Alright, so here's what we're going to do to get started. We're going to take our uh, book plate and we're going to decide which photo we're going to use. And I think I'm going to use this. Which one am I going to use? Let's let's use her. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace around the outside of my book plate with a pencil. And then oh, scissors. That was the other thing I needed. Luckily, I have a pair right here. So <clears throat> we're going to cut her out. And you can cut just to the inside. Since I traced around the outside of the book plate, I can cut to the inside of my line and be just fine. Set that aside. And we want to glue her on the back side of, um, of the paper, the cardstock, the heavyweight cardstock. So I'm going to take a little bit of glossy accents and smear it around and stick her down. I'm actually gonna go over the top of it too because that'll seal her down. A Little bit of glossy accents, a little extra glossy doesn't hurt. Okay, that should dry pretty quickly. And when she's dry, we're going to cut her out as such. We're going to use her now to decide placement of the wings because she's going to fit in between here and we may need to trim her down a little bit too. Can you see that? We may need to trim her down a little bit as well, but we want to ap apply wings to either side and I think I'm going to use these wings up here. So I'm going to cut this out. And I don't have to cut this perfectly because I can actually go around the outside edges with a little bit of stickles. So I don't have to be super fussy about cutting right now. But rather to go a little bit larger than a little bit smaller. So cut a little bit to the outside of this butterfly. All right. And like I said, we're going to use her as placement. If there's a specific part that I want to show up on the other side, I'll take care of it. I really don't care that much which part. I'm going to cut the butterfly in half. And I'm going to get placement down with her just holding the spot. my one wing. There's my other wing. I'm making sure that I like the, the angle of these wings. 
and I'm going to apply a little bit more glossy accents over top. Now, as I'm working this through, I see I really didn't need to back her already because she's going to go just like that. So, that's the great thing about videos is you figure it out. And you know what, my wings are a little bit crooked, but I'm okay with that too. I'm just demonstrating technique here, not a perfect finished product. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut around these wings. And I just cut straight across the center, because this is probably what I would have done had I thought this through a little bit more before I started taping, is So that's going to go on the back side of the book plate. We're going to apply a little bit of glue around the perimeter of the back side. I'm going to apply my wings right here in the middle. I'm going to stick my little girl right there. And again, on the back side of this book plate, I'm going to apply some more of those glossy accents. And put her down like that. So now we've got a two-sided butterfly pendant. And like I said before, I probably would um, trim her out a little bit more. But on the back side, you see it's actually kind of sweet. And I might apply some rhinestones or something pretty across the back. But the back side of this, you're not really going to see a whole lot. You're going to see the front side of it. All right, and now comes time for the piercing tool. And this, I would probably let this dry a little bit longer. Let's, let's hold it with a clamp just so that it'll dry. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pierce through this hole so that I can apply my um, jump ring. So I'm going to do that top and bottom. There's one hole. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to take a jump ring, twist it open, put it through this hole, and twist it closed. Okay, at this point she's ready to embellish. We can take some of this Stickles glitter glue. This one is Tiara, and I might actually go around the edge. This edge that's kind of sticking out gives me the perfect place to put some of this stickles. Okay. Stickles takes a little while to dry, so if you're doing this as a project that you need to use right away, know that stickles will take longer to dry than, let's say, um, glossy accents with dry glitter attached to it. tell Tiara is a favorite in the studio because it is almost out here. Okay, so there's a little bit of Tiara stickles around the perimeter. And while that's drying, and I could, I could glitz up the wings as well, 
that would be a great addition. Uh, while it's drying, I'm going to do a little bit of wire wrapping. I'm going to try and do this close up so you can see. I am putting my head pin through my bead. I'm going to take a pair of round nose or rosary chain plier, rosary nose pliers. And I don't need a really big loop, so I'm holding on to it right down here close to the end, but flush up against the edge of my bead. I'm going to bend my wire over at a 90 degree angle away from me. I'm going to rotate my pliers up. I'm going to bring that wire back up and over. Again, I'm going to rotate my pliers up so I always have a bare nose at the top. And I'm going to take that wire and now I'm going to wrap it underneath the nose. So at this point I have this nice shaped loop. I'm just using my pliers to hold on to my wire. And I'm going to take this tail of the wire and I'm going to wrap it around the neck. And at this point I'm doing kind of a messy loose wrap and that's fine. That's the way I want this one to be. I don't want it to be super neat. I kind of want it to look a little messy because I like that look. Alright, so there you have a little wire wrapped bead. You can see that. And I'm going to attach that to the bottom side of my pendant by running through this jump ring. I have to be careful because this stickles is still wet. I'm going to run it through here. Close my jump ring. And there you have my finished pendant. All I have to do is add a little bit of chain to the top. I'm going to use this ball chain because it's right here in handy. But you could put this, this would look really sweet on some sari silk. Or any kind of chain actually. I'm doing this very carefully because I don't want to get the stickles all over me. Normally I would just wait till it dries, but I wanted to show you what it looked like on the chain. So you get an idea of what a sweet little pendant this is, both the front side and the back side. And can you see that or not? Let's see. There you go. There's the back side. There's the front side. Sweet little pendant. Very easy, very quick, very simple. Um, you could even use imagery of um, people that you love in there. It doesn't have to be these old vintage pictures, but you could put a picture of your kid in there. All right, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll see you next time.